Hello guys and welcome to Code Shortcut. So guys in this video we are going to discuss how can we integrate admin LTE version 3 theme in Laravel 11. So without wasting any further time let's start let's move to step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project. Two commands to create fresh Laravel project if you have Laravel global install you can simply use this command if you don't have Laravel global install you can simply use this command. For this video purpose I'm going to create this fresh project with you so that I can guide you step by step. Let's move to git bash. I have already accessed the htdocs folder right here. I have laravel globally installed so I can simply write laravel new and project name in this case admin lte1 hit enter. It is going to prompt us about the starter kit select none testing framework zero or best hit enter. Okay so for the database selection we can simply select mysql we want to create the database we want to run the migration so we need to type yes hit enter. Okay guys, so our fresh project is ready, which means we can move to step number two, access the project. So let's do that. CD admin LTE one. In this case, I have already done it on the sublime side right here. Let's move to step number three, install the admin LTE package. So let's copy this command and let's move to git bash. Let's paste it right here. Hit enter. Okay, so the package is successfully installed. Let's move to step number four, install the theme. So let's install the theme, copy. Let's move to git bash, paste, hit enter and it's done. Now step number 5, install Laravel UI auth scaffolding. So let's do that. First of all, we need to install the Laravel UI. So let's copy this command. Let's move to git bash, paste it, hit enter. Okay guys, so it's done. Now let's get the auth scaffolding. So let's copy this command. Let's move here, paste, hit enter and it is going to prompt you if you want to replace the controller in this case yes we want to so write yes and now let's run our weed server so npm install and then npm run test okay guys so our weed server is running now let's access another instance of git bash so that we can run the further command so let's access the htdocs folder first of all cdc xampp htdoc slash admin lte project name admin lte1 done now let's move forward and our weed server is running now we need to replace our laravel ui related auth pages where with our admin lte auth pages so using this command we can do that so let's paste it right here hit enter and it's done now let's run the project to see what we have now php artisan serve now let's access our project. Now uh, right here you can see the default page but if you move to login you will see an admin LTE page. Okay admin LTE related login page. Let's move back. Let's move to register and right here you can see admin LTE related register page. Now let's create a user. So let's do that because we want to test it further. So code shortcut at gmail.com and let's put a password, a basic one and let's do register and we are redirected to our dashboard page but as you can see it's the default laravel dashboard page. Now we need to change it to our admin LTE dashboard page. For that we need to create a master layout uh, using which we will be using our admin LTE theme. You will be saying how did you get all this code? So actually I got everything from the official documentation. Okay, and you guys don't need to pause the video I will provide the blog post link in the description. You don't need to worry about it Okay, so this is the master layout that we are going to create which is actually using the admin LTE theme So let's move to sublime and let's create a new layout so views layout and I'm going to create a new file let's paste everything right here first of all and let's name it to master.blade.php now I want this home page to use the admin LTE theme so for that what we can do is we can simply replace our home page blade to use the master layout of admin LTE okay so let's do that for that we need to move to home for now it is using the app which is the default one so now control a control v and now we are using the admin lte as you can see it's the master which is referring to this one okay and if you want to make any changes it's up to you you can do that okay just wanted to show you okay now let's access our project 
and right here you can see now we have our admin LTE related dashboard so let's do a refresh and this is what we have okay so as far uh, these links are concerned if you try one of these for example let's click on profile it won't work because we don't have a route so everything is mentioned right here okay you don't need to worry about it but in order to make it work like there will be a question like how can I make this work and what is the purpose of this you can make them work you can create a route and it will work for that we will see an example of the post page so let's do that so this is a uh, default let's say code which I have came up with so that I can create a post page so first of all let's create a blade so views new file paste everything and name it posts dot blade dot php just like that now this is our post page which we have to define so if I do a refresh you won't see anything as of now because we have to define it see okay so for that we need to move to our configuration admin lt configuration I think I missed though missed that part sorry for that so using this command we created our admin lt configuration file okay so just keep that in mind we can do all sort of changes right here okay so first of all in this case I need to define the page and you can find it right here let me show you in the blog post okay so right here this is our post page and now we need to access the admin lt and then we need to go to menu sidebar items so simpler way would be to search for the items menu items then there is menu and this is the sidebar so we need to define our post page right here so I have already that right here see so let's copy this let's move here define it now this route I have defined right here in the configuration that this URL would be related to this post pages but it will not work because for now as of now we don't have the route actually okay so we need to create that and for that we can simply copy this one okay so let's move to web.php let's define it right here and everything is fine now we can test it so let's do a refresh and right here you can see our post page if you want to change the icon you can where right here okay so let's do a or let's try to access this post page and we are redirected to our post page so yeah guys that's about it that's how you can create a page or link all you need to do is define the route and define it in the configuration admin lt php okay so whenever you are going to create a route right here you need to define it right here as well okay as the url just keep that in mind okay so yeah furthermore last change uh, if there is a question i want how can i change this actually once again in the configuration file so right here title i will replace it with code short let's do a refresh and right here you can see okay so that's how you can change it so yeah guys that's about it from this specific video if you have any further question you can comment it out or uh, for more details you can simply refer to the package documentation so yeah guys that's about it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care